When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is feeling fear and moving forward anyway. Dreams without goals are just dreams. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Is that really what we're doing? We're doing five pet peeves. I, have, I haven't been, you know, I don't even train at public gyms, man. Well, when you did train at a public gym, let's talk about it. You know? Let's train to me at a public gym. Don't steal my shit. Don't steal my shit. If you see me on it, don't fucking go on it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. God, public gyms. You have to have some etiquette. There's got to be etiquette. Number one, don't be the stinky person. Just wear deodorant. Spray yourself. Shower. Don't be the stinky person. Second, also, don't be that sweaty person. If you get up and it, you're, the whole bench is wet, wipe it down. That is gross. Third, uh... My favorite thing is when people say, hey, can I work in with you? And I'm like, yeah, of course, because I'm a nice person. And then they switch all the attachment and then they do their set and leave. So then you have to switch the attachment back and do your set again. That's not called working in. That's called, hey, I'm going to just change all your shit up and you got to fix it every single time. That is not working in. What am I at? Number, what is that? Four? Are we at four? What would be the fourth one? Put your damn weights away! And put them in order! Dumbbell section, I swear to God, and this goes to anyone that owns a gym, I will judge your gym just based on what your dumbbells look like. If the, it goes from, you know, 15s, and then it's a 65, and then it's a 100, and then it's a, a 12 and a half, like, Line them up from smallest to biggest in a line. When you're done with a machine, put your weights away. No one feels like putting your weights away for you. And that is also not the gym's job. So be kind and put your weights away. That is, that should actually be number one. I, re I revoke my stinky one. Still, that's pretty close up there. Number one, put, put your shit away. And number five. Number five. Don't take videos of other people and post them on the internet. You know, don't post a selfie with a person in the background and then you make fun of the person like, oh, I couldn't get this person out of my back. It was like, you're the one taking the selfie in the mirror and posting it. Don't post other people on Instagram or Facebook. Don't make fun of their form. That is like, ah, they're all number ones. These are all number ones. This is another number one. It's, it's a hard enough time for people to go to the gym. It's a hard enough time because it's a vulnerable, it's a vulnerable area for people, um, especially someone that's in a new fitness journey where you're going in and you're already uncomfortable with yourself and now you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable environment uh, with a bunch of machines that you really don't really know how to use and you don't actually know what you're doing. And then you have to worry about freaking Joe over there taking a video of you and then posting it on the internet. Fuck you. Man, I hate that shit more than anything. Do not take videos of other people. Do not, you know, have them in the background and then write in your, your stupid little video like, oh, look at this person, like, uh, someone was in my video. It's like, you don't need to be videoing, period. Wait till it's clear, wait till no one's in it, have the focus on you don't have don't post people on the internet that would be number five don't be an asshole do you think chris bomb said 
and classic is going to change bodybuilding back to like do you think bodybuilding is going to go towards classic now and that's where all the money's going to be since he's such a huge influence on it no he's already changed bodybuilding uh, but bodybuilding won't ever change because that's why they just keep making more divisions. I was the same thing. That's why my division actually exists. That's why physique came about because the evolution of bodybuilding just, it gets bigger and harder and grainier every single year because as an athlete, me myself, see every year I got better and better and better. You don't wanna go reverse. You don't wanna stay stagnant. You always wanna beat what you look like last year. So that's, just the natural curve of, you know, it always goes up and it always gets crazier. I don't think bodybuilding will ever go away. I think definitely classic is going to become more popular, but that I, I don't think bodybuilding will ever go away because there's, I mean, I, I, there's people that like, like myself. Like you want to see the freaks and that's what bodybuilding now the bodybuilding group like class is now it's like hey we're gonna watch the freaks now <laughs> and then classic is just old school bodybuilding but physique basically is exactly they created physique because women's bodybuilding you know just kept getting bigger and harder and just crazier so now women's bodybuilding is also like hey these are these are the crazy girls and people love to look at it. Like, I honestly, I admire them. I admire their dedication to something, but that's why uh, Physique came about because we brought back the, the natural old school bodybuilding. So Chris Bump said, yeah, he's changed it. He's, he's, he's gonna be the top of the top for a very long time. And he's gonna be hard to beat, but I don't think it's going to make anything go away but he's definitely made classic very, very popular. You gotta talk about this in the camera. Oh, what? Is Dana Natural? Ask Kenny K.O. actually. I think I, so Kenny K.O. didn't believe me for a very long time. I'll tell you this. Uh, so anyone that knows Kenny K.O., he always asks like, are you natty or not? He's been asking me for years and years and years and he finally did it in person and um, a couple years ago, and I think I finally changed his mind about me. I think he actually believes me. <laughs> when you see me in person, I'm not that big. My skin is the same, my voice is the same. It's very easy to tell. And uh, I, I used to get so mad when people wouldn't believe me. I used to get so angry because I felt like all the work that I've done pretty much my entire life because you're you're discrediting all my years even as a kid I've been an athlete since I was five years old I was a six sport athlete I was a collegiate soccer athlete and then I got into sports so if you're you're discrediting my entire background of everything and uh d discrediting like you know the 17, I think I'm going 17 or 18 years of six or seven days a week of training and consistent diet for 17 years. You're discrediting all of that. And it used to really, really make me angry. And then I realized where well, I just have to switch the way I think about it. And I think I'd be, now I'm to the point where if people actually thought I was natural, <laughs> I'd be bummed out because I, I now know it's like, cool, they, yeah. I love that you don't think, I love that it looks like I'm juicing my face off on all the steroids, because it means I'm doing something right. It means I actually know what the fuck I'm doing. It's as easy as that. So yes, I have been 100% natural my entire life, and I will always be. And that's why I look the same all the time. There's no ups, there's no downs, there's no cycling. It's it's so obvious. <sighs> and it just, you know, there's sometimes there's just people that work a little bit harder than you. There's just people in this world that are better than you. And anyone that like throws that comment around, it's not like people that take 
any anabolic steroids. It's not like they don't train hard too. You still have to train hard. You can't just take steroids and think you're gonna be jacked and shredded. It's not how it works. So those people have to work too. Can they get a little bit bigger or leaner? Maybe faster than me, probably, but I can still do the same thing they can do, just takes longer. So just be patient.